the dark web is the section of the internet that only a few people dare to enter. And if you do enter, there's a big chance you will regret it or you can pay the consequences if you're not careful. They say the regular internet we all use every day is just the tip of an iceberg. And it is theorized that the deep web holds about 99% of the internet with the dark web taking 0.01% and the regular internet taking up 0.03%. So wait, what? The deep web? Is that the same as the dark web? No, they are different. Real quickly, the section that we all reach is known as the surface web, and it has searchable or index sites like YouTube, Amazon, Google, etc. The deep web or the invisible web are parts of the internet whose contents are not indexed by standard web search engine programs. And in order for you to access these sites, you're going to need to know the direct URL or even an IP address. Some sites that are here include webmail, banking, cloud storage, social media websites, and forums. Think of this like when you upload videos to YouTube and you mark those videos as unlisted instead of public. You can only access them if you know the direct URL. You wouldn't be able to search for those videos. The dark web is not the same as the deep web, but it does share some similarities. And the dark web resides within the depths of the deep web. Think of it as the abyss in the ocean that we cannot swim down to because we will die, which is actually pretty similar when you navigate down to the dark web. Just like the deep web, it is also not indexed by regular search engines. So what exactly is in the dark web? It's an encrypted portion of the internet that is not indexed by search engines and requires specific configuration or authorization to access. There are websites that are a hotbed for criminal activity, but there are also some legitimate websites too. Not everything in the dark web is bad. So what resides in the dark web? According to a study by Gareth Owen from the University of Portsmouth, there are black markets with access to guns, drugs, and you can even hire a hitman. I remember reading a story of someone seeing live webcam footage of someone that was being held hostage. Yikes, that's some pretty scary stuff. There are also botnet operations. These are services where you can order certain companies or people to be attacked by compromised systems with DOS attacks that could cripple companies down to their knees and cause massive disruption. There's also whistleblowing websites that are hosted there for people wanting to leak data anonymously. Finally, the most evil of all, child pornography is heavy in the dark web and it's probably the number one reason to stay away from there. Real quick, I just want to remind you to please subscribe to the channel. I'm almost at 2000 subscribers and it will help a ton if you're getting some value from this video. So how exactly do you access the dark web? First of all, all the dark web sites and in period onion instead of the traditional .com that most websites use. In order for you to access them, you're going to need a special web browser called Tor Web Browser from torproject.org. With this web browser, your traffic is redirected over more than 7,000 relays, or in simpler terms, your IP address gets hidden and your browsing activity is redirected to different routers. In addition to that, users will also use a VPN on top of the Tor web browser to encrypt their connection even more. Even with all those protections, the government can still track you if they really want to or have a need to. So just because you're browsing anonymously, it doesn't mean you can go start doing illegal searches without getting compromised. It's similar to being in a car driving through a bad neighborhood. You're most likely safe staying in the car, but if you go into the wrong dark alley, that's when the chances of trouble increase for you. 
While it's not illegal to access the dark web, especially using a browser like Tor will help you keep anonymous, I definitely recommend you stay away from there since you might be tempted to access the dark web and there's a chance you're gonna run into websites you did not intend on seeing. Some of the dangers you can be exposed to are key loggers that can start tracking all your passwords and then send them to the hackers, botnet malware where your computer will be part of a network of compromised computers ready to attack on whatever the hackers decide to, ransomware that can encrypt your crucial data and can only be recovered by backups or by paying thousands of dollars to hackers, and finally, phishing malware where you can also get your passwords compromised. You can also be exposed to government monitoring if you access the wrong sites by mistake, since your ISP could let authorities know you're accessing some of these areas. Again, this most likely will not happen since the whole point of Tor and VPN is to be anonymous, but it's still a possibility. Finally, you're also at risk to fall for scams when trying to access some of these illegal services. For example, they can be pretending that they're going to provide some of these services for you, but they could just be scammers and ready to take your money. My personal opinion is that you stay out of the dark web as there's really no need to access that portion of the web. There's plenty of surface web material to keep you safe, entertained, and happy without needing to risk your security. I hope you found today's video useful. If you got some value out of it, give it a like and it will help the video spread to other people. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and thanks for tuning in. Until next time, Ultratech out.